Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. And? It's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Beast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do, that is. I won't be dying. Not today. Then it's settled. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. Did you hear that? Down there. So, Titan has knocked the fight out of our Iron Blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. Ingvat! Bitra! Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. The Dominant? Are you certain? The Crystalline Orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominants are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. Schweinskart! Adion in here, Sagarin! Strach! And now King Alad Scully asked. Dead? I don't think so. Well, what are you waiting for? <sighs> no, no, that's not you, not here. Oh, I'll bloody do it then. Sorry, Jill. 
Now that that's done, I won't ask you again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. I... I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. <gasps> Hugo dear, my proud desert lion. With that you had taken care when chasing the hare. I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the Ice Queen on her back, no doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this price. My lady, the thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. Gather the men. We have work to do. Jill, is it really you? And who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Torgal. Hey. His name is Torgal. You two acquainted? Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. 
Funny. I'd always pictured you as more the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumours that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. For wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up. No! Oh. Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. further now but we're in the middle of the deadlands keen eye you the blight suck this place dry meaning no trees no birds and no magic but it also means no neighbors the last place anyone would think to look Sweet home. the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of health. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, sorry. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. But, but Nan will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. <laughs> <laughs> 